So this is the story behind the famous ducks. The story behind the famous duck. Hello guys and welcome to this Dantorp Aviation video where I will be touring a really really cool place today and this is actually Lufthansa's newest first class lounge and I'm sure you guys would just love seeing what they have to offer here and experiencing what true luxury Lufthansa can provide. My name is Klaus Gorni and I'm a spokesperson for Lufthansa in Munich. So since the microphone was only on him, you can't hear what I was asking, but firstly, I just asked him to tell us why this first class lounge is so special, and I'll let you enjoy some scenes from the lounge while he answers. Um, first of all, this first class lounge uh, you're seeing here um, has only been opened um, at the end of April. Okay, we are here in the Lufthansa first class lounge in our very new satellite building. Uh, we are very proud of that because it's a wonderful lounge as you will see a little bit later. And uh, we are rated by Skytrax a five star lounge. Actually our first class lounges here in Munich are rated as well before the best ones in the world. This one not yet because it's very new but the old one definitely is. Well, and we're be. very proud of this, of course. <laughs> uh, it features 1,000 square meters of uh, pure exclusivity. So you have bathrooms, you have day rooms, an a la carte restaurant, everything. And of course, everything you see is for free. This is also a great place to plane spot yeah. if you're flying first class. I mean, you have of course you have a view on the apron. Yeah. And um, especially here, some of the like of course some of the smaller planes are being handled, and some of the private jets as well. All right. Uh, the general aviation channel is just up there. Because of this exclusivity, not everyone can use it. So um, you either need to have a first class boarding pass or you need to be a so-called Hans Circle member. So we at Lufthansa introduced this program for our top, top tier customers that fly with us um, a lot. It would equal if you flew with us every week from Germany to New York and return in business class for two, for two consecutive years. Frankfurt and Munich are Lufthansa hubs and are great hubs. Um, but of course today we are, we are in Munich here, so I'm going to tell you a couple of advantages uh, that Munich offers. First of all, uh, our minimum connecting time is just around half an hour, 35 minutes. So that means that we guarantee if you come in, for example, from Sweden to Munich and you have an onboard flight to New York, um, then we will uh, make sure, even if it's just 35 minutes, that you will catch um, your plane. You will have either a direct service waiting for you, if it might get a little tight or uh, we will position actually the two aircraft the way that you can just easily walk over. Um, that's one of the reasons. The other reason is that with Terminal 2 and the satellite terminal here at Munich, uh, we are the only five-star terminal uh, in Europe. So we are the first ones together with the um, Munich airport to actually receive uh, this award by Skytrax. So they see a lot of reasons uh, why, uh, why this is a very special terminal and I think part of it is that we together with the airport designed the terminal and now operate the terminal and so we think of both, we think of how to operate uh, an airport but also how to work this as an airline and I think that is what makes um, Munich so special and that's why people uh, love to fly by Munich. This joint venture we have here, 60% um, of the uh, Terminal 2 joint venture is um, owned by Munich Airport and 40% by Lufthansa and it's very unique because um, it basically exists nowhere in Europe and hardly anywhere else in the world. And so therefore, uh, whatever we do here, we do jointly with the airport and uh, we believe that we have a better customer focus because uh, we look at it from both ways.
Here's just a little look at the dine on demand menus. This was a special one for the European soccer tournament of last summer. And then the menu you'll see in a second is just a standard order on demand menu uh, with tons of different drinks, drink options and food options available to you. So this is the story behind the famous ducks. The story behind <laughs> the famous duck. So mm. basically it started all in Frankfurt with the mm. first last terminal. They put that as a um, little gadget, uh, the rubber ducks, it said first class service is Frankfurt. Yeah. And all of a sudden the people that usually travel with us so much, they pay thousands, ten thousands of euros for their airfare, they would take these little rubber ducks as souvenirs, uh -huh. which we would have never expected because we yeah. thought these people have everything but they took them and so since well time went on we said well if it's really if this is like a little well a little souvenir a little fun for these people uh -huh. and of course they can take them with them so ever since we started producing um, a special series of the ducks we started yeah. producing uh, themes so now for example it's the euro 2016 uh -huh. and we put into the duck uh, we put in a little shirt on with a soccer theme <laughs> for example here in especially in munich we have of course um for the oktoberfest yeah. they're actually wearing a uh, dirndl <laughs> the, the traditional costume so things like this already today we fly to uh nearly 140 destinations around the world we have from, from Munich only and um, we have around 120 aircraft based here mm -hmm. so that's already a very substantial um, uh, amount of flight and aircraft. Um, of course for the future we have now built the satellite building that you've been seeing uh, it has a capacity for 11 million additional passengers mm -hmm. so of course we want to fill this and we are now looking into ways how to um, clever fill this, how to offer even more destinations and an even more attractive, uh, well, say, portfolio to, to our customers, be it customers from Munich or from around the world, because actually, um, as you may know, uh, more than 60% of our passengers, they only transit here. They will never leave the airport. They will fly in here and fly out again. So that is uh, what we're looking into. And of course, uh, we hope to launch a lot of new destinations like we did with um, Denver, and also uh, Tehran um, um, just these days and we have um, some European destinations which we also just uh, we started to fly to. Okay great and uh, to, to a flyer why is the new satellite terminal so cool what can I do here that makes it a special experience? I mean I think first of all it's great because um, it's got a lot of light, the atmosphere is great, it never feels crowded um, and also you uh, have uh, a lot of brand new shops. Um, the, um, the whole flair is based on a say Bavarian and Munich theme. Uh, you have a central market square uh, which has a great offer of restaurants, of, of boutiques, uh, but also we um, basically doubled the, um, the space of lounge that we offer to our customers. So we have five additional lounges, this very exclusive first class lounge, but also four lounges for um, business and um, for business class customers and for our senators, which is equaling um, Starlands Gold. And um, so we just doubled basically the, um, the, the space of, of lounges here.
Um, so about the A350, which I imagine you're very excited about. Yes. Uh, that will be based first here in Munich. Exactly. How do you ex uh, what are, what expectations do you have for the A350, both on board and for the airport? So I can't tell you everything yet because we haven't uh, we haven't communicated everything yet. But the A350 um, is going to come uh, this winter, and it will start operations then. The first destinations will be uh, Delhi and Boston, and the um, of course uh, the. The onboard experience will be great uh, for everyone that has flown the A350 before. I mean, that has been possible even without us uh, having that plane um, in our fleet. But um, it offers just a great uh, feeling of room, of, of, of atmosphere. The lighting concept is very special. And we will have some great new features um, across all uh, travel classes. Yes, yeah, so the A350 will really be a reason for people to fly Lufthansa through Munich now, I think. Definitely. It's the <coughs> it's going to be the first Lufthansa hub that um, will have the A350. Mm -hmm. So if yeah, if you're keen on flying 350 on Lufthansa, then that's really a reason um, to fly it. It will have uh, the usual um, high standard business class, premium economy and economy class. So um, a very nice uh, travel experience on board. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> Thank you. So if you want a little more behind the scenes action from Munich, you can go check out my tour of the Lufthansa Technik hangar. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you all get to visit this lounge sometime. I hope I actually get to use it sometime too. Um, please make sure to subscribe to my channel because I upload videos every day and you want to make sure you don't miss them. Also, of course, check out my social media for awesome pictures and updates on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter which is all in the description below. And until I see you guys next time, fly safe.